gathered here in Yola, Adamawa State Capital, are representatives of 20 civil society organizations operating in the state. This meeting is at the behest of the European Union and the British Council and is intended to help in improving the competency of CSOs to understand and function in line with the laws and regulatory frameworks guiding the operations. So we are providing training to our partner civil society organizations in Adamawa State on regulatory compliance, on how they can improve their compliance to the laws of the land. You are looking at the Kama law, you know about the Kama law, don't miss out on the CAs, you know about the tax law, uh, you know about the pension law, uh, you know about the SCOMO law. So how can they improve their compliance to this, you know, uh, regulatory framework? The team lead discloses how non-governmental organizations are used as conduits to launder money. Sometimes this organization looks at NGOs, churches, mosques, humanitarian organizations, and they, they launder, we say they launder the funds. Sometimes they can, they can have an arrangement with uh, NGOs and say that, well, I'm giving you so and so funds, but I want you to spend it, I want part of it to go to certain organizations. And that raises the, the risk uh, ratio for terrorism and all other kinds of organized crimes. The obligation really is to report. It doesn't, the law does not expect them to investigate. It doesn't turn them into investigators. You do your duty. When these funds come in, comply by reporting, and you have done your duty. The regulatory framework is expected to serve as a guide to CSOs in its operations, as well as a monetary mechanism to ensure that the organizations comply with the Anti-Money Laundering Act.